I am gonna go. Yeah, that would be good because I'm trying. I'm gonna deposit some motifs. All right. Well, in the yep, yep. But I'm. I you're you're lucky because I have to deposit motifs for my other crafter, and I have to check traits. And do a second set of writs minimum. Because I want at least two reasonably accomplished crafters. No idea. No idea. <laughs> All right, I deposited it. Okay, I'm going to go to Oridon because I do not like crafting in this region by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just saying, I do not, I do not like, um, I do not like Rotwood as a crafting area at all. Well, the thing is, I can't really afford to get lost when crafting because I have so much writs. Yeah. Do not stand in that. Yeah, do not stand in that. Yup. That totem bow, yeah. Yep. I'm in Viz. A lot. 
Answer is a lot, Ember, a lot. Run in place, Lizard Man. He's got what he needs, as far as I know. That's that red. Alright. Thankfully, this guy has space for that, so... All right, I'll trade out. I'll take those. The Welkinar is probably worth the most of the lot. I'll pay you. Yes. But I will pay you 100k for the Wilkinar one. That's one writ, two writ, three writ, four writ, five writ. All right, I'm going to invite you to group so I can track you and also get to the dungeon, which is my next order of... Can I sell all these things, Alex? These white things? I get two more crops. Fortified Nern Crux and some new motifs. Are these three more crops? Um, I will take a look. I'm going to deposit these motifs after I take them off you. And give you a hundred gold, a hundred k gold or whatever. Oh, my equipment rates reset. Huh. Okay, where did you accept the group invite first off? Because otherwise, I cannot keep track of you at all. Because you are like invisible somehow. First, I have to target you somehow. There we go. 
you, you, you're trying, I'm trying to trade the thing. Has to be all caps. It just, it makes you do it. Don't ask me why. All right, gonna give you 100K gold because you said you had Welkinar. Welkinar, True Sworn, Ascended, and Dead Keeper. Well, that's what I want so far. Um, I'm going to go add these into my bank because I think the other crafter needs them more. Hands off sticky fingers. Somebody has the sticky... They're going in. They're going in on the leisure domain. They they got caught doing leisure domain things. Uh, All right. Anyway, we'll do the dungeon. I just realized you somehow have more inventory space overall, less, but more of it eaten up. Here, I'll take the motifs off you. By getting rid of stuff that I don't need. We have 210. I have 200 slots. I put in another trade. These potions, are they valuable or not really? They are useful for certain hard dungeons. You're not person yet anyway. Hey, you! Am I trading or not trading? I gotta target you again. No, 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 not tribute. Uh, no, Tales of Tribute's a far harder game than you think it is. Here, I'll give you another, I'll give you another 100k. The main thing I want is the motifs. No, you have to submit offer. There you go. How did the healer, how did the healer, I don't understand how I can view it as a healer lead now instead of, I didn't have to promote you. I didn't have to promote you. I don't know why I did, I'll explain when we get there. I, I can't believe I didn't have to promote you. Like, why? Usually I'd have to promote you to leader, and then... What happened? I don't understand. Why does the bug... Why does the bug not exist? What happened? Press F. You'll have it. So, in terms of this, the main thing is you don't want to stand in the, um, 
the uh, big flames of certain bosses. Also, we have a noob in our team. Can you tell who the noob is? No, no, besides you, someone even more noob. Kajari. He's going the right way, but he's a tank that does not have CP 160. So we are going to have an interesting time in this dungeon. He's going this way. I'm forced to heal him because he doesn't have any of the durability of a normal tank because he's not CP 160. So we are in for a fiesta. This dungeon is a little tough. So, but this isn't the tough part. This is not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the Vulcan. Because they'll pull you backwards. They have grappling powers, like a like a like a grapple hook. Okay. They like yank. Like those chains from Dragon Knights, they'll yank you in. And we're going to want to move fast because this dungeon doesn't forgive and doesn't forget. And with these new, this assortment of noobs, we are going to have an interesting time versus the Vulcan. A six or a seven. I'd rate it an eight out of ten for base dungeons. We haven't, we will be when we get there. There's a specific boss I'm very worried about. Normally, I'm not worried about this dungeon. It's just we have noobs. So that's why I'm giving such high scores. Because this, this dungeon is a, a noob killer. Not this boss, but a certain part of this dungeon is a noob killer. There's two main bosses that are killers. But we haven't reached him yet. This is the easy boss. I'm most worried about the Vulcan. Doing a little bit of supplemental damage. Try to supplement the fact that the uh, noobs do not do much in the way of damage. Because my, my ratings are not just is it e good for is it easy on experienced players i have to factor in the noob factor which adds yeah it just it adds a whole new aspect <laughs> because experienced players can wipe this dungeon out really easily no but experienced groups can parse this shit down in seconds but the problem is we don't have an experienced group so that's where the challenge starts to come into play. This dungeon is also not the shortest dungeon on the planet.
It's older, yes, but it's one of the tougher older ones. Okay, this dungeon boss, we're going to have to interrupt him. Because otherwise, this fight will never end. And it, Well, you kind of have to interrupt certain parts of this more than usual. I'm going to blow horn just to increase the pressure. Oh, our parse is so low. Ooh, this is not good. Yeah, but I almost wish I wasn't due to what kind of situation. I'll talk about my concern when we get there. Got to interrupt this fiend. I don't know how to interrupt this thing. You bash it. You do it a lot. I don't have any, I don't have any, I don't have any Watch. Bash. You hold right and you plus left click. Staff, yes. Bashing with a... Right hold right and then left click. It bashes. Kind of reduces movement speed. That is one of them. And that's the boss I'm most afraid of. Because that guy hits like a truck and has some damage checks. So that's part of the issue we have here. Uh, you want to lay down a lot of your unstable wall into lightning form crystal frags. You, you will want to try to get as much light attacks weaved in here as possible to make sure that you get as much damage off as you can. And I am getting pinned the frick down. This guy, we are, this is not going to be easy. I'm going to have to put some jabs in here to make this, to, to compensate for our lack of group DPS. I'm glad I have this back bar with this damage skills. Because in this case, I need it. Interrupt that guy. Oh my god. Our parse is so low. Ugh. It's not just you, it's this ADCP guy that's the elephant in the room. Like my feeble 10k pars is, is almost 30% of the damage. I have to take you to the training dummy and this time just not play the game for a little bit and teach you on the training dummy so you understand. This is, uh, no, this is not the boss I was worried about. Yes. Okay, this is one of them I'm a little worried about. The Hova Tuned Fire Maw. Do not stand in front of his face too much. He breathes. Watch 
out for the area on the ground. For Dagon. Careful, he's gonna breathe. Gotta get out of the way of that fire. He's breathing. I need to eat some magic potions. How's this? I was worried about this. Is this boss is not new proof. He's breathing. Nah, you don't know too frustrating until you face some of the hard modes. Like Moongrave Fane. Yeah, Moongrave Fane hard mode. Then then the frustration will build. I can do more dungeons today. You, you bash and you roll. You have to... Well, you have to drink a stamina potion then, because you're probably out of stamina. Well, you can try to heavy attack. Your alternative is heavy attack. I said heavy attack. Well, heavy attack is the answer for you here. That is all I can tell you at this point. Oh, I have to try to make this noob tank survive this. This is not going to be good. As a rule of thumb, you shouldn't majorly tank dungeons until CP160. You have to start with DPS or heal and then move on to tank when you're CP 160. No. Why I meant once you get to CP. Once you make the tr once your tank makes the transition to CP, it has to be CP 160 before you main it, because the 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 the, the the difference between under CP ones, like the the difference between like CP ten and CP one hundred and fifty and one hundred and sixty, is night and day. It's very dangerous to bring someone who's between those CPs in. I'm explaining. Never mind. I'm just explaining why I'm in a situation right now. Because this, this CP80 nut bar is going to have to face tank the Vulcan. And I can't the you can try, but the Vulcan smacks. Do I have the LP? We will see. That's all I'm going to say. We will see. There's a reason why I said we're in a, pro we're in a situation. I mean, it could be clearable. We'll see. We will see. I will see if I can... If I can do this. The only reason I think we've even gotten this far is that this is not VET. This is the VET version. We would be... We would have been toasted by now already. like no foul I've ever seen. Nah, it's not a foul. No, well, it's part of it, but not... not. No. Valken Scoria wants you dead. Nah, it's Valken Scoria. This is a second, the last boss. 
or something like that. Maybe not quite, but he like, he's one of the scarier ones. He has fire on the ground. You have to avoid. Your day in f ended fire and begin anew. And he is not as taunting as trash. Oh, the humanity. This is not even the one I'm panicking about. I'm a little worried about him. But that's the last boss that I'm afraid of. <sighs> Hopefully we can get him. Come on. I'm going to have to just, like... Uh, enough about Burn and Be Reborn, you piece of trash. I can't even revive, because the thing is going in, and the guy has lost all taunt on him. And now he has a shield. Oh, shit. No, not the rain! I'm going to go in with the jabs. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God. We got to go forward. Not that way. Not that way. Oh, my God. The noob. Get back. <laughs> no! Fudge! I can't! I have to help him with the stupid mobs. He wants to do the bridge thing. I don't know. He wants to... Oh, God. God, help me. No. So why is he no, because it, don't run under the bridge. Watch out, the skeletons. Hit them not on the bridge; they explode. Okay. They explode on contact. Oh God. I'm. I'm I have to focus. This is really hard. This could, this could. <laughs> well, all right, well, this we're going to have to focus the emulators. Emulators. I'm gonna have to put barrier in. <sighs> All right. I think I'm gonna take a break after this. I'm gonna go to. I don't know. I just. I gotta focus.
Did you buy yourself all your bag space? If not, deposit that gold later in your bank for your other characters. Come off. Focus the emulators. Are these emulators. These are emulators, these things. Okay. I just barely got through that. Oh, I am not. I am not looking forward to this poll. No, no, it's it's me versus noobs. Me versus all the noobs. The 2000 CP versus. It's like one of those League of Legends things where like the one challenger player versus several noobs. That's what it feels like anyway. In fact, if I wasn't here, we wouldn't be clearing this. Vulcan Scoria guards it. What? We need to leave him because you can't access him from his current state. We have to fight the two portals. Which I'm not looking forward to because it does a cauldron like thing where it'll, you remember the one that says scatter bugs. Okay, what do I gotta do? It you gotta hold block when it does a heavy attack when the boss appears after clearing this ad pull because otherwise it will knock you into the magma. Because there's magma underneath here. There's the fire ravagers. This almost feels like veteran. Hell, it feels harder than veteran <laughs> on a normal day. But we'll see what happens when we get to the boss. Part of it. That's the biggest reason, honestly. Otherwise, we would have already made it to the Vulcan by now. It's a mixture, honestly. Get that guy! Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Alright, now for the Fulminator. Well, kind of, because he has these area of effect attacks that do a fair amount of damage. I I said a fair amount of damage. I wasn't like I wasn't like just posturing about that. It does damage. Well, I didn't process. Yeah, well you're processing now. You're processing the damage factor of these enemies. They they do damage. Well, the tank is so noob that they don't really qualify as a tank. Next area. Well, for one thing, you need a taunt. <sighs> no, you need like inner rage or pierce on your bar. I recommend inner rage. You can, and I'll show you how. But you want to have it on your bar just in case, or 
Yeah, you want to have it on your bar just in case. And then you need a build that's more durable, like leaching plate, max mag leaching plate or something. Especially once you start getting towards veteran content. What died? Of course, the other... Oh my god, this is going to be... Oh god! Come on. Oh. Oh. Got a horn. Get away, it's going to explode. Yeah, you got to stay away from the edge. These stuff explodes. Fire! Oh, that guy's about to try to jump off the edge. One of the other noobs. <laughs> well... Once they stop focusing on you, then they'll come after you. So that's why it's significant. Zivali Boltaic. More damage. Want to dodge those beams on the ground. Because it's going to do some nasty ass damage. I can't believe I'm actually... Well, actually, I can, because I I have the magical 2,000 levels! And I've done this a number of times. Oh, God. Please. Okay. Now for the scariest part of all. The Vulcan. Well, first I want to see if I can actually clear the Vulcan. Oh, he just killed himself. I think so. Oh, no, he didn't. I thought he just killed himself. All right. Thank God we don't have to do the hard mode. You need to get on the platform or you're going to die. Fire! The Vulcan is coming! Come off it! Burn! He's going to burn! Get off the platform! Any of these other platforms? Look for where he's going to spawn. There he is. Now he's got to get interrupted. Or he's going to detonate the entire... Oh, he's not interrupting the thing. Gonna horn. I've gotta get back to this platform. This platform he's on. No, he's knocked me in the magma. Dodge that. Uh, 
Get off the platform! Oh no, 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 no. It's the Vulcan. All right. We have him. <laughs> well, we have to turn it in over here. There we got it. Champion point. We made it to 2015. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't believe we cleared. I thought we were going to fail to clear. Yeah, Finganian. Here. Why don't I see them? We have to wait until they do something. There you go, and a skill point. There you go. Just disband. Uh, Kajiri was really bad. I I I I was amazed I got him to survive. I was like astounded. Wow, that was nearly a fifty minute clear. Ouch. 